All right, everyone, I'm back to do another quick review. Um, this time I'm going to look at Transformers Prime Voyager Class Bulkhead. Or with all that crap on top, Ecto-1. I don't know why, it kind of reminds me of the Ghostbusters car for some reason with all this crap up here. Phew, look it spins. Phew. Well, it got stuck. So, we get rid of all that junk. Here is Bulkhead in vehicle mode. Pretty nice, I have to say. I do not have the first edition, so this is my first experience really with them. And I have to say, I really like it. So far, I think I've liked everything Prime's done so far. I can't say there's one Prime big figure that I really don't care for that I have except maybe the Cyberverse Mirage I should have been a Dark of the Moon figure but I got stuck in another toy line other than that everything else has been pretty cool the detailing's not too bad um, could be a little bit extra you know the windows are painted on except for the front one which isn't coming across but it's clear plastic I guess for the light up gimmick thing um, you know, the back, not too bad. You can kind of tell there's maybe feet or something going on there, but, you know, not too bad. The bottom of the vehicles, uh, you could maybe say there are the legs and stuff there, or you could probably say there are, you know, armored parts or something so it rolls better. As far as I know in the directions, it says to do this with the front, but honestly, I like to fold that up because I just think it looks better. That's my opinion anyway, is a car. It just gives it kind of like a ram. So, not too bad. Uh, to transform them, you're just going to unpeg the back wheels here and fold this all out. And then the arms fold out. And then you come up here and work the legs free. Oh, all right, and then we'll kind of work everything down here. And sorry about this, I just kind of kind of get stuck on this because I'm stuck with the webcam, like I kind of said in the last video. Not a fan. Oops. I'm sure that was supposed to come off. Just ignore that. <laughs> there we go. Alright. So now you have a exploded car mess. But we should be able to fix this here. Alright. We get down here. Turn the legs around, fold the feet down, which I'm sure you can't see that because it was on my side, but you fold the foot down like that. It's all going to click into place rather lovely. There we go. And you see we're starting to look like a robot here. Alright, the arms, well we're bringing the doors forward like that to make the chest get the arms out fold those down There's no way it would ever show up on this camera, but there's a peg in there that kind of holds the chest to the body. You get that on there. And you come up top and we swing the back down. Fold out the little shoulders. Get those over. The door that popped off previously, we reattach that real quick. And 
And it's a headless bulkhead. Oh my goodness. All right. There we go. That just flips out. And now all you gotta do is fold the fists out and try and figure out why this is not pegging together. Uh, there we go. And there is bulkhead. Not too bad. And then he does have his weapons of dumbness. He's got this battering ram thing, I guess, which doesn't really go with him. And then you've got the waste of plastic. Wee, but it does spin. I have to say, I am tempted to take a screwdriver to this thing and see if this will come off. And if that piece that goes in here is big enough that it'll fit his hand, maybe I can build him his actual weapon correctly. Um, but I haven't played with it yet. And as far as a uh, bulkhead here, you can hold on to the battering ram thingy. Pew pew! Pew! Pew pew! And you can also hold the Dujima Watsits. Or is it a thingamajoo? I don't know. Yeah, it's that good. It is that awesome. All in all, I have to say, I like Bulkhead. I would definitely recommend getting them, if, especially if you don't have the first edition. I can't really comment on how good the first edition was anyway, but... Either way, even from what I've seen on reviews, he he doesn't he doesn't look that bad against it. I don't think. Um, you know, they made a few design decisions which are a little different, but it makes them a lot less complicated to transform. So I can't say I disapprove. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed your first. Oh, you know what? I almost forgot. Real quick before we're done. And I, because I'm sure it's a burning question lighting up the internets and the Twitters. How does the Voyager bulkhead compare to the Mighty Puzzler? There you go. About the same height. No, Puzzler is considerably taller. Bulkhead is bulkier, though, which works. So there you go. I know you were all just wondering how that would possibly come out. So Bulkhead is heavier and bigger than the Mighty Gobot, but the Mighty Gobot is taller. So thank you for watching, and I will see you all around.